Yep, it's been one of those days. You know, them kind of come and go. They don't so much like to go as they do come. Misty, he liked that other shirt. Look at this one. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, today was, I just got out of the tub. My niece said we take a bath because they're not that stable. Monday we went, I should start where the beginning is. Monday we went to Lowe's. And we got over there. I left knowing that I was only three quarters of the way full of box today. So I strapped it on my back and went because it was, should have been plenty enough box. It's the first time I've actually walked in anymore since I'm, even before I went to the hospital, since I've had this thing that seems to dominate where I'm going and what I'm doing. So we go in. And I make it. I had to take my time, but I made it. Little by little, I made it. Well, we go back there to the lights because we needed a light to replace the one that uh, shorted out after what, about 20 years? It's funny, I got light fixtures down there that we, me and Dad pulled out of the trash. And they're, look like turn of the century when they brought in electricity. And they still, we had to rewire them, but they still work. Uh, these, not so much. So anyway, we waited and waited, looked, and hunted and hunted and looked. And so finally the guy goes by and I told Denise that she said, let's go. I said, no, let's go by. Just ask somebody. Because I can't run them down. So she did. Guy says, get somebody right here. And he gets on his phone. He leaves. Nobody showed up. So we finally, we were fixing to leave again. And I said, I'll piss on this. You know, I'll, 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 I'll ask somebody. So I asked this dude. And he said, oh, well, I, can. I said, well, we've been waiting on somebody for a good 15, 20 minutes now. And I only got so much air in these tanks. So he says, well, I'll go over and look. And he gets on his computer and he types it in. And sure enough, there's a light, exactly like I seen at home. And it says available. I said, see, it says you have them. He said, no, it says available. Just because it says available don't mean it's actually in the store. And I said, well, what the hell kind of inventory is that? He said, I don't know, it's the way Lowe's does it. I said, well, it's screwed up. It's also misleading. We've driven all the way over here. And that wasn't no easy task to find out you don't have what we come after. He said, well, I'm sorry. He said, you want me to order one right here? And I said, no, I'll just go home and order it. So I came home, went up there, ordered it, ordered one light and two packs of bulbs because they take a funky little bulb. Well, they come in today, finally. Only it was two lights. And yes, they charged us for both of them. And no bulbs. So I called over Lowe's and I said, I got two lights, two fixtures, and no bulbs. Uh, and I'm looking on my order. And I see that I have bulbs on order. I had two packets. She said, did you order them at the store or did you order them on the internet? I said, I ordered them off the internet. Oh, well, let me put you through to the people at the internet. Well, nobody, come on. We sat there, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Finally, the lady came on there and she said, uh, yeah, they said that they're, they're here in the store. They just forgot to ship them. I said, they forgot to ship them. Yeah, I said, well, why, why would they do that? They only had really two things to put on the order. But three's fine. I'll even, tell you, I'll even keep the extra light and pay for it. But why did they, how could you forget three things? They used to work in shipping. 
and before, and you know, before UPS even. How the hell do you forget three things? She said, well, probably the light bulbs wasn't near the light fixtures. And I said, well, heaven forbid they have to take, what, four or five extra steps? And they have to have a little bit more going on here. Now, let me tell you about that. <laughs> she told me, she said, you want to come after it? And I said, no. I said, lady, I'm compromised. I have to have oxygen everywhere I go. When I came over on Monday, we were there forever. We were there long enough that my oxygen ran out before I got home, which is my fault. It shouldn't have taken a new take. And again, I didn't realize we was going on a back-finding hunt for apparently a, a rare unicorn. And I said, it's 20 minutes trip from here to there. And it's 20 minutes back. I'm not wasting my oxygen running over our, to fix something that these people screwed up. I made a point to say these people. Well, I didn't want to offend her. She was at least helping. And she said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, shift the damn things. What I want you to do to start with. This 40 milligrams of prednisone a day is not good for my attitude. So anyway, and apparently my shoulder just went out. Uh, it reminded me of something that I know. This is the third time. I forget Walmart hand how hiring idiots. Apparently Lowe's gets put before Walmart does. Not everybody, but they get the majority of them. Back when I used to deliver, back when it was at 530 Westmore Boulevard, I'd pull through the gate and had a little guard there. He really didn't guard nothing. He motion, you know, the Manson family couldn't have come through and he would have must have been. He was wanting to be a wrestler and he was all full of testosterone. Probably a hell of a lot more than he should have been. And as I come through there, I hear, boom! And I thought, good Lord, did I hit something? Jesse York, one of my supervisors, he drove feeders, which is what UPS calls their semis, their tractor trailers. And he trained feeder drivers. And when he went to training us, he said that uh, when we go through a tight spot or we're near somebody, that we should always double check by looking back in our mirrors. So I did. And I seen this guy. He was hunched over, almost in tears. I went over there, made my delivery, come back out. And I stopped and I said, what are you doing? He said, I already sued UPS. And I said, for what? He said, you didn't advertise that your trucks are Fiberglass. I said, no. We didn't. We advertised the roof was fiberglass. This around the outside is solid steel. He said, no, and I think I broke my hand. That was the first idiotic thing that I ever seen. Now, the next time, me and Denise had went in, and I needed a plumb bomb. We had one here somewhere, but God only knows where it's at. And when Dad died, somebody broke into the, and I think I know who it was, broke into the building and stole a lot of good tools. Although, this particular individual, I wouldn't think it'd have a bit of use for a plumb bob. So anyway, we looked, couldn't find it. Here came this guy, I said, can I help you? And I said, yeah, we're, we're looking for a plumb bob. He was a young guy. He said, oh, okay, follow me. And we start darting across the store. And I looked and I said, we were leaving the tools. And I said, uh, where are you taking us? He said, oh, to the plumbing section. I looked at him and kind of grinned. I said, you do realize plumb bobs have nothing to do with plumbing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. We just, it's because of the name we stock them. I said, you must have a hell of a time looking for tools in. You know, what happens? Somebody wants a screwdriver, and I want a saw. I want channel locks. I mean, it's beyond, but will it? Another guy that had been with Lowe's forever, he was an older guy. He came walking, he said, hey, what are you doing? I said, I followed him. He said, huh, where are you, where's he taking you? I said, you ain't going to believe this. But I asked him where the plumb bobs were. And immediately the guy starts dying laughing. Goes back in that young boy's face. And he says, he don't know shit. Follow me. 
We went, he told it a boy, he said, you can follow too if you want to. I think you need to. So he goes over there, takes us right to the spot. They only have, you know, plumb bobs are small, so they only had about maybe a foot, if that, of a, the back of a kiosk or a side uh, that had maybe five or six different kinds. That was stupidity number two. This is stupidity number three. So, in a way of all life, because I really can't put the light up tonight anyway. Uh, and yep, with lung issues, I'm going to do it. May not be doing it glamorously, but I'm going to do it. Uh, you know, sometimes you just shake your head and go, really? And on YouTube, every other commercial is Ozambic. I've heard Ozambic till I'm sick of it. You know, and they say, they sing it to the, uh, oh, 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 it's magic. He said, oh, 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 it's o Ozambic. Get a clue, folks. We're not going to buy your product unless we need it. And if we need it, we'll ask you or we'll ask the doctor, not you. And if it's not that, it's this COVID-19 or whatever they're calling it this way. You see, I... Uh, Tennessee's even got this stupid commercial where they're sitting there with their mask on and they're, I'm saving it. You ain't saving shit. You put a mask on your face. If you're saving something, get in there and help your people. Other than that, get to work and forget it. That mask does not make you Batman. Uh, then on the evening news, my wife was wanting to watch the weather. And on Channel 10, WBIR, they had to have this stupid excerpt of some idiot that wrote a book for kids about this coronavirus, or like I say, whatever they're calling it, whatever the name of the flavor is this week. And this old dude sitting over there beside going, and he's an adult. You know, it's kind of like when you watch him preachers on TV and they're talking about stuff that they have not got a clue about and there's always a woman and I don't know why it's a woman because women are smarter than men but she's always going you know like she's just amazed that this came out of his mouth and I'm sitting there looking at him when they were reading that book and I'm thinking is it where am I living at? Is this really the United States of America? I mean, I ain't talking about doing American state. I'm talking about what the hell happened to us when we lost the sense of reason. I think they pushed this COVID or whatever. They've inflated the numbers and they pushed it about as far as you can push it. Because most of us are going to start throwing up on them. And for God's sake, don't terrify a child. When I was a kid in school, we had to line up in the hall for a nuclear attack. Squat down on her, get on her knees, put her head between her legs. And we did that for a drill. You know what kind of issues that causes a child? We did it up until somebody said, what are we doing? Another drill. What do you mean? Well, let's get down on your knees, put your head between your, your legs, and kiss your ice goodbye. Because it's over with. And really, if they dropped an atomic bomb, it would have been over with. You know, you get your heart right. Yeah, I know I don't have the cleanest language in the world, but you get your heart right. And you, you ain't going to have to worry about bending over. Uh, been there and done that, but it's it's funny. I mean, well, it, I would I would it would be funny if it weren't for just plain stupid. Nobody thinks. Uh, had 
You don't know who this is, Misty. They were wanting to do something and their spouse said, well, Daddy, he don't know how to do that. Well, you know, there's a reason he don't know how to do that. Because he wouldn't get off his ass and learn from his grandfather or his father. Well, I say father. You got one father and he's in heaven. But the fact that you don't know how to do that. I didn't know how to build this house. But I knew I couldn't afford to have it built. So me, my dad that I called, he was my grandfather I called dad, my biological dad, my stepdad, and one of my cousins. You know, they didn't charge me nothing. So at 22 years old, we built a house. I didn't know how to build a house. Now, Daddy did. Bobby Joe did. And Charlie, he was learning. Me and Joe built barns, but we never built a house. First car I ever had that went down on us out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I take it back. I was taking it on mechanics. See, I didn't know. Me and Denise, we restored a 78 Camaro. Uh, I didn't know how to do upholstery. I didn't know how to paint. I didn't know how to do a lot of things. But with some friends showing me, and thank God I had you too, I did it. I didn't say, because there's, there's a funny thing. If you think you can't, you can't. And if you think you can, you might be able to. But you never lose. You never you never quit. As long as you try, you ain't failing. You may have to stand back and regroup, but you ain't failing. But what? I mean, I see some really good kids these days. But they're playing with that little cell phone. You're letting someone control your life. Bottom line, you're playing some stupid little game. Those people own you. And it just makes you dumber and dumber. Now, if you're handicapped, I can see doing it. But, and not mentally handicapped, which apparently a lot of these kids are going to be. But uh, you got to be at both ends of the spectrum. I would not want to be born right now. I thank God I'm towards the end. It's just ridiculous. Annie used to, not my daughter, but my great-grandmother, she used to always say, towards the end days, the weaker, the wiser. Well, guess what? We're there. A lot of people claim to be Christians, but they sure as hell don't act like it. And the one that everybody likes to talk about, like this one cousin and his wife that I got, they are Christians. They act like it. They're just not in your face with it. And they're not jumping up and down with it. But they ended up sending me a nice little note and a check for $500. Cheap oil paint or some kind of paint. Uh, maybe it's water paint or acrylic. Uh, and then she sells them and then she takes that money. And she finds somebody that needs the money. And to our surprise, we had a check come in there. And But me and my wife were okay. We're preppers. Uh, so I really don't feel like I deserve it yeah, or need it. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people that could use that money more than we could. And I feel like there's a lot of people that could deserve it. So I'm going to first ask them to take it back. And I hope they don't get mad. And if they don't, then I'm going to take it I've already got a bunch of scarves and do-rags uh, picked out on eBay. But uh, when I first started doing chemo on my lungs, they didn't do this at Knoxville down at UT. But over at Morristown Hamlin, they brought a tote in there. And in that tote was little odds and ends, you know. Uh, find a word book. Uh, you know, it's different stuff. And the churches would all give it in. Well, there's not been churches thanks to this COVID scare. And uh, 
so these new people is coming in for treatments they don't have nothing like that. So if, if they do say you know that I have to keep it, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy do rags and, and boggins for the ones that lose their hair and keep up. Because I know from when I had throat cancer and I lost all my hair, I felt naked. So maybe that's the Cherokee in me, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them a little care packet, but similar to what they give me. Only I'm going to have do rags and toboggans in it. And then when I talk to Jen and the ones at the hospital, because God knows they know I ain't got COVID, three times they went up my nose while I was in the hospital that week. Three. And two, I was for MRSA. I was clean. Hell, I was clean the first time they did it. But uh, apparently they you know, was on a commission. But and I'm not running that Marshall and Hamlin because Barn is one nurse that I told him I did not want her back in my room, period. Other than that, everybody I had were absolutely great. And the food, oh my God. If that's all I'm about to say, if y'all ever quit here, you can put some of these restaurants out of business. So anyway, I'm going to take that stuff down there to them and give it to Jen and them. I'm going to tell them I don't want my name associated with it. Rather, I want Janet's and BB's because it's come from them. Maybe in a weird way, but it's still come from them. I mean, it just, how I am is just bypassing. I'm just passing it along. But I thought it was great. I thought it was very nice. And I'm honored. But I think other people need it more. I think we have a real chance to touch a lot of people. Misty, you know me, I'm, I've always been bad for this. I don't want to make talk good about when I die, but I do want my kids to remember what I was really like underneath all this assholeness. It's kind of like when I done that letter to Santa thing, the UPS, and you pissed straight in the fire me because I wouldn't show up to pass out the gifts. And I even, I didn't write my name on my gift because I wanted no credit. If you, had, if you didn't do it for credit, you did it for the wrong reasons. So anyway, that's been my day today. Yippee-ki-yay. See ya.